I'd argue against the goal that forces overtime as well as you see on that. Uh, I mean, just shot from the point from Ovi and, uh, you know, I was lucky it was on my tape and uh, just try to go get to the net and, uh, yeah, it was lucky we were net. You guys were down the whole line. It was one nothing, 2 one 3 2 What does it mean to be able to pick up that extra point in the shootout and, and stick with it and keep coming back like that? Yeah, I think, you know, our, our group doesn't back down when we're down. Um, yeah, it's, that sounds funny, but, I mean, every time we're in the third period and we're down by a goal, like we always seem to come back or figure out a way to score, and that was an awesome goal by SUNY. Great, great point shot by Oldie, and um, I thought we got what we deserved tonight for sure. Lucas, you had the game-winning goal in the shootout. Uh, how'd that feel? And kind of just like how did it feel to kind of end it for your team? Yeah, it felt good. Um, kind of that's the move I've always kind of gone with, and I mean, Big Mike was just outstanding. Like the minute I scored, I just pointed right at him. Like he just made all those saves. Like. Um, credit to him, he, he really stood tall back there and um, just, just a great game from our group. Both coaches talked about having no penalties in the game, they thought it was a pretty clean game. When you're out there, when there's no uh, power plays or penalty kills for either team, does that disrupt the flow of the game or does it feel a little different to you guys? I mean, you know, you're trying not to take the penalty and uh, not to hurt your team, so it was kind of, was, uh, you know, we, we thought it was like, uh, should have been a cup. I think he's cold, but uh, you know, it's game, it's 5 on 5. You just gotta do everything for your team to win. Lucas, can you talk to me about the performance of your line mates, Sloan Beck and Yenchko? Yeah, um, Ryan, obviously, super familiar with. Um, we've played together for four years now. Um, and uh, Jenks is a freshman, and he's learned how to play. Um, on both sides of the puck, and I thought he had an awesome game today. I thought we were, that was probably one of our best games as a line, um, just making plays. We were hard down low, um, but yeah, it's been good. We we played together all through all of September, kind of just teaching Jenks how to the ropes a little bit, and um, obviously we all know how Ryan plays, so he, he had a great game as well tonight. So it's been good to to get get going here and have that first goal, and um, like I said, just a great great game from our group. You guys talked to Don, so was that an intentional move, move on that one? You looked a little surprised with one there. Yeah, I mean, uh, he did a couple times in practice, and, uh, you know, it was a uh, sick goal by him, so that was really good. I thought he left, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that was sick. It seems like that shootout went for a while. Like, what are you guys saying to each other on the bench to kind of keep each other hyped up? Yeah, I mean, Big Mike kept us in, and uh, that was all credit to him, so. No, luckily this guy scored too, so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's all that matters. So. What does it mean to you guys to play in front of this, play in this building when it's full? Oh, I mean, it means everything. Like, that's all we talked about all week. We, we were just hearing how it's, it's going to be sold out and how everybody's going to be there. And, you know, it's unfortunate that we couldn't, couldn't get it done last weekend. And uh, we really wanted to, to put our best – best performance out for, um, you know, the UMass faithful. And um, I think we did that. We played hard. We had a ton of scoring chances. And um, like I said, we got what we deserve. And I'm glad to do it for all the fans and all the people that support us. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys.